guys, welcome back to We Watched the Movie. I am Mike, and this is everything you need to know about Eli Roth's upcoming November 17th slasher, Turduck and Fuck. Thanksgiving, we're going to talk about how the movie happened, what it's about, and we're going to break down every TV spot and trailer in this singular video. There are a lot of kills that I feel like I wouldn't have wanted to see in the trailer, and I'm going to save those bigger kills. We'll talk about some but the bigger kills until the end of the video, just in case anybody doesn't want those kills spoiled for them. I will save them until then. Don't you worry, I'm not going to stuff you like a Thanksgiving turkey full of things that you don't want. I'm only going to stuff you with what you do want. The plot synopsis straight off of IMDb is that after a Black Friday riot ends in tragedy, a mysterious Thanksgiving-inspired killer terrorizes Plymouth, Massachusetts, the birthplace of the infamous holiday. It's directed by Eli Roth, who's directed a bunch of great horror movies like Cabin Fever, Hostel, Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves, I love that movie, The Green Inferno, and this is his first full-on horror movie that he's done, and depending on how you feel about Knock Knock being a full-on horror movie, in eight to ten years. It's been ten years since The Green Inferno, eight years since Knock Knock, but this is his big return to the genre, and he, in this interview during one of these TV spots, actually even says himself, This has to be the movie that if I never make another film, it doesn't matter. I made this one. That's enough. So this isn't just the jokey slasher movie that he threw together. This is a movie that's since 2007 has been in the making. Thanksgiving. You'll come home for the holidays. The movie started in 2007 with Grindhouse, a Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez project. They put their two movies together in this old Grindhouse sort of feature, but in between they had these fake movie trailers. And Eli Roth directed one for Thanksgiving. And in this trailer, it's it's a it's a throwback to really old school trailers, whereas they would just show a scene happening and then all of a sudden you'd hear this guy go, Thanksgiving. Someone gets their head cut off. Thanksgiving. Today I'm gonna butt fuck your dad. Dad gets butt for Thanksgiving. They show the Thanksgiving Day Parade. They show this dude in a suit, get decapitated. We'll get back to that, trust me. The highlight of the fake trailer, the thing that really just makes me feel gooey, gooey gumdrops in my fucking tum-tum is when this girl is butt naked and she's bouncing up and down on a trampoline while this dude watches. And this knife comes out of the bottom of the trampoline. And just as she spreads her naked bum, I spread my butt cheeks under the name Mike Honcho with Playgirl Magazine. When she spreads her legs and goes high up in the air and then lands, right on it and I can feel it in my taint when I watch this it makes me feel very strange inside like when you're on top of a bridge and you look over and your butt feels weird does that happen to anybody else gravity likes to play with my ass there's another part where there's actually Eli Roth in the trailer and he's like how about it babe and she's like all right and she goes down on him. she's like happy Thanksgiving babe goes down on him he gets his head cut off while she's down there and she reaches up to touch his bloody stump that was a great scene they brought back packs from hostel and this scene where the same girl is like it's okay Judy I'm here and then as she's making out with him, he gets his head cut off. And then the final, like, actually, I was wrong. It's not the trampoline scene. It is this scene. Stick your dick in Ovaltine. It's this scene. The killer unveils the turkey, and it's actually a human being whose legs are tied up, and he's got stuffing stuffed in his ass, and it's like the grossest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. No, it's not, because a few seconds later, you see a little turkey, and it's got a woman's head on it. And then a few seconds later, you see the killer fucking the turkey in front of the children and the whole family and you hear the noises and it sounds like mashed potatoes being mixed it is the gnarliest short fake trailer that has ever gnarly short fake trailered and oh my god of course you have to make it a movie but you wonder how do you make that into a movie today there's no way it could possibly go that hard right there's no way they're gonna do shit like that in this movie Let's take a look at the trailers. From one of the opening shots of the trailer, we see him with this woman laying down on this table and he's salting her, he's seasoning her. She wakes up when the timer goes off and it's like, you're, oh my God, he's gonna do it. We're gonna do this. We're actually gonna tie someone up and he's gonna butt fuck a turkey in this movie, I think. That could happen. And hey, if Terrifier 2 can exist without an NC-17 rating, maybe anything is possible. Take your shirt off at Little Caesars. There's no rules! Put your shirt back on! There's one rule! But in the trailer, you do hear about this right marked Black Friday massacre accident that takes place. Until what happened that night. And we get our first shot of Patrick Dempsey, who's in this movie, Scream 3, Nev's boyfriend. Patrick Dempsey's in this as, I guess, the sheriff, and he's firing off a shot, screaming, dead-ass serious stuff going on in here. And then you see this shot of, it's so 
goddamn amazing. I'm so I, I was excited for this movie, but once I saw this shot, I, I I got shit my pants excited for this movie. They pan up and you see that dead ass Walmart sign right there. And if you look closely, there's a dude sitting on a star. This, wishing on a star, sitting on a star, got that very confused. You want to get your words correct when you're talking to a genie. He gets the tip of the star stuck up his ass. Like the star is the tree and he is the star, more specifically his butthole. But it's half the dude's body and you see the blood that runs down the top of the right mart and half of his body's there and the star is up his ass. It's like that Al Pacino scene in Heat. Because she's got a huge ass and you got your head all the way up it. In this scene, you have Rick Hoffman, who does not have a name listed on the cast in IMDb. He does not have a character name. Now there's Gina Garchon, who's in this as well, which is sketch to me. But he just, I, to me, he's going to be the guy. I think he's the guy. I think he's John Carver. I don't know why. I just, you look like you fucking kill people for fun and maybe fuck turkeys. <laughs> I think she's going to be the final girl in this, and this is Rick Hoffman in this scene with her talking in front of the John Carver house. And then you do have in one of the TV spots, I'm kind of mixing them all together here, but in one of the TV spots, you do have this opening that's showing all this shit. And it's like John Carver was one of the first pilgrims and the founder of Plymouth, Massachusetts. Soon after settling, 50 of his fellow pilgrims died mysteriously. It's the deaths only ceasing after Carver's passing. And this is the killer John Carver, and this is the mask he wears, which changes throughout the film which without throughout the trailers which i think is dope you've got this one here there's the golden one there's the burnt one multiple different masks from this character and allegedly everyone in the town is also wearing these masks as they say in the trailer everyone's wearing them and there's even a shot of one of the policemen holding the mask so we're gonna get multiple different masks from this slasher it's gonna be the john carver character and who knows maybe there's multiple people doing it we don't know everyone's a suspect Moving on back to that fake trailer, you do have the shot. They literally show the Thanksgiving sign in the town celebrating Thanksgiving. You get the actual literal shot from the fake trailer where the dude's wearing the, th the, the hat and then he gets decapitated completely. So that gives you hope that we may see some of those direct scenes in this. There's a scene here that happens in the kitchen that I'll talk about at the end of it because, again, they show the entire kill pretty much. And if you haven't seen it yet, I mean, might as well wait for the movie to see that. I'm sure there's more to it. He's tagging them. The John Carver has a in Instagram, which is fucking hilarious. It does have zero likes on it, which is upsetting for him. One thing I absolutely adore about this and love is that you hear a character in this say that he's using all the different weapons that people use to cook on Thanksgiving. He switches them up, whether it's a mallet or you can imagine a turkey baster, like the don't breathe guy, only he used it for something completely different. And you're never going to be able to wash that thing enough. The fact that this killer's using different holiday utensils is just going to fuck up Thanksgiving for everyone. Every time you pick up something to fucking cook you're gonna be like oh god that was in someone's asshole in that eli roth movie and i love it there are so many kills in this trailer there's a scene where you see a character get their neck snapped and then it pans to this shot immediately right here of blood squirting onto danny glover's not finished house in lethal weapon 2 that's a deep cut for lethal weapon 2 fans but it squirts onto this plastic on the walls and what they did there was a clever edit where that's a different kill tied in with that kill so this is yet another kill that they're not showing us and it happens right as the kids are running in the room which is gnarly biscuits and again we get a lot of this girl in the trailer i think she's going to be the main girl of the teens the final girl if you will and this badass shot of him swinging the the, the axe at her and it reminds me of like a mid-2000s like horror slasher trailer the way it's done and he like swings it at the camera back when they used to do 3d all the time i guess when he swings it at the camera and it cuts to thanksgiving just an amazing trailer probably shows too much and again we go back and we show a scene of a character i won't say which one in the oven as he's turning up the thing and she's burning alive. So not only are we going to get the dinner table scene, it seems like, but we're going to watch him set it all up and happen again in the beginning when he's like listening to music and just like cutting up vegetables and shit like that. And the table is set totally fucked up. I hope, I hope, and I believe that there's so much more kills and shit like that in the actual movie that we don't see here. And I'm really thinking there will be. 
Um, because the only thing to me that could make this movie suck right now, as fun as it looks like it's going to be, is if they just, there's nothing extra there. And we got too spoiled by this, which is why I saved most of the kills to the end of this video. There's a second trailer or TV spot or however you want to call it. And this one gets very Halloween-y. And again, he mentioned he wanted to make sense a kid, his Halloween or his scream. So we're going to get a lot of those vibes, but there's the teenager sitting inside of the diner and then they pan out and someone's standing there watching them straight up Michael Myers across the street from the school in Halloween when he's standing behind the stage wagon exact same shot i love that throwback you've got him walking around the gold mask around the parade and the idea here is that everyone has the masks which is again really cool like it's just like with scream they're at every five and dime in the state says dewey this crazy little shot from the little eli roth interview when she's coming down the hallway it's it's again uh, it's it's sort of spoilerish i guess um, but we're getting ready. We're soon to get into some of those deaths that we saw as well. So I don't know if you want to turn it off right now, but we do have this one shot where she's running down a hallway and then the camera tilts to the other side of the lockers. And you see this cool looking shot of him popping out with that fucking John Washington face and about to chloroform her, I'm guessing, which just the like the layers of this, like it's not quite a De Palma shot, but just the way that like that trash can sticks out and he's kind of blurred and comes around the corner and that mask is so still frame. It's so fucking cool looking to me. So getting into possible major spoilers here, again, that the trailer gave away. I'm not coming up with them myself. I just noticed them in the trailer and couldn't help it. Again, Gina Gershon, who's in a bunch of shit, she's a cool actress, uh, is in this, but she doesn't have a character name. And I think this may be the Drew Barrymore of the film because I think the movie is probably going to open up with the Black Friday scene, if I had to guess. And as everyone's rushing around in this store, you see the shot of this cart moving really quickly quickly and then you turn around and you see Gina Garchon's face look up and the idea is here I guess somebody just smokes her with that fucking cart and that's how her character dies a little bit of an ode to scream that's my guess don't know if I'm right but that's my guess and then the kill in the very beginning of the trailer like the 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 freezer scene when he jumps out of nowhere with that excellent jump scare <laughs> grabs her sticks her against this this freezer door and by the way, I worked at Cracker Barrel once and this girl came up to me and she's like, you want to go fuck in the freezer? And it freaked me out. I was like, this is my second day. I, I And I was just like, well, what? And she was like, ha ha ha. And like ran off. And I was like, was she serious? He turns down the thing and we've seen this kill done before. And I believe freaky. It was freaky. Uh, the Vince Vaughn movie, Freaky. Anyways, he puts her in this freezer and he turns it all the way up. Meanwhile, her fingers, as she tries, we've seen nails break against walls so many times in horror. In this scene, they get stuck to it like that kid's tongue from that one movie. And then it just goops off. And then he comes at her with the axe. You just know, this being Eli Roth, we are getting some fucking sneaky, sneaky kills. And then there's finally, there's a corn cop scene that we didn't talk about earlier where he walks up, he takes those corn shucker things and they got a little smiley face on him and he stabs him in the girl's ear. I don't even know if that would like kill you because they're not that deep, but either way, I don't want to try. Uh, I'm already scheduled to go in front of a, a live studio audience and have an old TV dropped on my head just to prove that Stu's alive. Stay tuned for details on that. It's going to be fine. My safe word is whiskey. What? What movie is that from? Comment down below. But yeah, just yet another creative scene. We're going to see so many creative kills in this. It's going to be insane. The amount of creative kills this movie is going to... I see nothing wrong with this movie. It's a perfect movie for Eli Roth to do. It's another holiday slasher. We need more good holiday slashers, in my opinion. And it's it's going to be old school slasher dumb pandemonium. This movie is going to... I think it's going to... Again, I think it's going to be a little mix between like Halloween Scream, shit like that, and a touch of Terrifier 2. That Eli Roth nastiness. You remember the Achilles sweat? Wipe and hostile, dear God, on Betty, what the fuck? I'm so pumped for this movie. I'm going to be there day one, and we're going to cover all of it, plus spoiler reviews, parties. Make sure you click subscribe and all that dumb shit. White meat, dark meat, all will be carved. All will fucking subscribe, you sons of bitches. Like 43% of the people who watch this channel are subscribed. What are you waiting for? Ah! Did you guys like my Jennifer Love Hewitt impression? If so, like I said, like the video. That helps too. Share it. Do it fucking all! Or I'll come over your house and I'll butt fuck your turkey. Here comes that white faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again. Sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said, God damn. God damn you, my God. Halloween never ends, suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. 
So let's go trick or treating. Let's go fucking drinking. Let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS.